What in the friggin' world, y'all? What is up, Internet? Retro here, and welcome back to another episode of Retro Hunting. So the majority of the collection that you guys are seeing behind me, primarily everything that you're seeing behind me, I have gotten at secondhand stores like, like garage sales, flea markets, thrift stores. I absolutely love collecting these nostalgic pieces of my past, of my childhood, but it is not fun to me to just jump on eBay to get online and buy it. I want to find this stuff out in the wild in my local area. It's all about the thrill of the hunt, and today we're heading back to a flea market here uh, in my local area that, that I've scored at before. Uh, they got toys, they got games, they got all of the stuff that I love. But before we get into it, uh, if you do love all things 80s and 90s nostalgia, everything from retro video games, movies, toys, and more, do me a favor and hit that friggin' subscribe button. Guys, every single Monday and Thursday, we're coming out with new retro nostalgic content, and I don't want you guys to miss it. Let's get into it. Hey, he's a kid. He's a kid. I don't know who's a kid. You don't know? Can't see his face. The main kid on Little Giants, or Little Little Big League. It's Jimmy Woods from The Wizard. Oh, okay. Did you know that? For some, some reason, some, sometimes that flies in the some reason in my head, I was thinking of uh, Rookie of the Year. Yeah. Where he's like, God knows it. Yeah, that, that flies under people's radar a lot of times. They're like, whoa, it is, it is Jimmy. All right, I don't know, I don't know if you're seeing this, but look inside, look at this. Look what's in there. Look what's in there. Pull it out. You know what I see? Far left. I just, I just saw here. Oh. Far left. Look at this. Dunkaroos. This is kind of new, really. Yeah, I know, but still. Dunkaroos cereal? Come on. Get out of here. How much are, How much is the cereal? It's not for sale. That's actually donuts. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> We're trying to buy your cereal, man. Yeah. We're trying to buy your Dunkaroos cereal. <laughs> Dang, I kind of feel bad now. I'm trying to buy cereal and people are donating it. Here's that little mini. Taxi lunchbox. That's a really if you find a uh, phase 10 dice, it sells for $40. Well, I know, but that's, what's, that's bowling dice. Oh, yeah, that's cool. I saw dice and I thought I had it in there. Good. So, just a heads up, we are right next to the highway, the interstate, freeway, whatever you call it where you live. So, there's like always this rumbling in the background because it's so loud. We're right next to all the traffic. I don't know. Do you think you could be an ultimate video game trivia? Oh. Freaking bring it on. Let me see the thing. I mean, should we get this and uh, see who the ultimate winner would be? Let's get it. Let's get it and we'll uh, we'll test each other's like cartridge. video it game. Kind of it does. We'll test our game test game. our video game wits. Hey, you don't need a chili cheese warmer, dude. Chili cheese warmer? Oh, dude, dude, dude. You know you need that. That's just a fancy crock pot. Oh, Whoa. Dude. <laughs> Why so many? That's so way too many sock monkeys. I'm a big Bulls fan, man. Look like I just like the logo, the emblem. Man, I don't need this hat, but it's cool. I don't like hey, look at these. All right, I didn't know them all last time. People were like, "You don't know who that is?" I, I don't. I don't know who these guys. Chic. These are pretty cool. They've been here forever. I saw this and I thought it was gonna be orange. I thought it was gonna be like. Mm. Seems really dope. What is it? Like you put like hot bowls, like when you get them out of the microwave, put your hot bowl in it, and you can. <sighs> Genius. Who needs a towel? All right, this is the booth with the video games. And last time I was here, I missed a game. And you guys told me which game I missed. We're gonna see if it's still here. It was Ape Escape, oh, I think dude, it was Ape, Ape Escape, Escape 3. Great. It's a great series. Let's see, let's see if it's in here. Guys, I think it's gone. I think someone snagged it. It's such a fun game, dude. It is. It is fun. That's I think such a fun. I think they had, I think they had it for like twenty, and it sold for like fifty. So I definitely missed it, but unfortunately, it, it is gone. Unless there are more games someplace else. Are you as scared as me? 
as I am of this thing. I'm terrified. A bunch of toys. Looks like a bunch of new toys, though. Yeah? Toy, one dollar. No, look. As I dropped it. Yeah. Oh, oh, it's Ducky. It's Ducky, man. That's sad, dude. Wait, are these the ones from uh, the puppets? From, I can't remember, was it Pizza Hut? With a pizza from Pizza Hut, a land before time dinosaur is only 99 cents. So come to Pizza Hut. Your friends are waiting. We'll always be together. Pizza Hut, make it great. I don't need Dougie, but I think that's what this is from. But, you know, that way Land Before Times are they make. Land Before Time 375. It's a good one. Oh, this is the old school tailor made. Nobody cares about this, but I'm a golfer and. That is retro, I'll tell you that. That is old right there. Hey, here's some stuff. Bunch of cards, these are all Michael Jordan Fleer cards. These look weird though, they don't look legit. Are those real? Whoa, look at this, Mighty Ducks Puck. Wild Wing, Star Puck Limited Edition. That's pretty sweet. This is the toy box I had as a kid. Uh, seriously, like my Mighty Morphin Power Rangers were in here. Oh, your Power Rangers. It's crazy. It's cool. I remember I could, I used to be able to climb in it when I was a kid. Hey, look, here's a Amazon exclusive, The Mandalorian. What do you think about Funko Pops, Tommy? What are your, what are your opinions on Funko? I think that they are similar to the Beanie Babies where everybody went insane for them, but these are better than Beanie Babies because they're like, they actually, ex the characters actually exist. Right. So they hold meaning to the people that buy them and collect them. Yeah, that makes and, sense. And some of them hold value, but most of them are gonna be like worth nothing other than like yeah. whatever it means to the person. I tend to agree. I don't know. I don't know if they're quite Beanie Babies, but I don't This is I Michael Jordan books, bro. Don't know how long the value are gonna hold on them. This is a cool booth. It's like really close to the stuff that I want, but not 100%. Here's. A whole box of Star Trek trading cards, booster packs for eighteen dollars. You know, I'm sure somebody would want that. I have, I however do not. What do you think about this? You an extra four hundred bucks, dude. Four hundred? Yeah. Maybe it's four dollars, not four hundred. That's, that's a joke. <laughs> crazy guy. Just like clip four hundred dollars cards. To just, the wall. just sitting here. Clip. Yeah, like these aren't like that. Looks like an old. An Tops. older Tops card, but it's not. I don't know. I don't know what these are. They're just cards. I'm not 100% sure what's going on with these. Tahitian Truth's a good fruit bunch. I used to collect these, like, die-cast car things with my dad. Back in these the day. are those old-school roller skates, thing, like, with metal wheels that you had to pass into your shoes. Oh, you just destroy somebody if you ran into them. I mean, you, if you wear them, they destroy your ankle. Yeah, both 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 parties would be destroyed. Your ankles would break while you're while you were wearing them, and as you're falling into the person, you'd kill them. Remember that game? Whoa, that's like super '90s version. Let's do it. The Simon Challenge. You got to repeat the patterns of colored lights and sounds. The longer you play, the more challenging the pattern gets. How much is it? It says four dollar fourteen, but it's crossed out, so I don't know what that means. Let's see, nineteen ninety four. Let's ask him. Well, let's see if it's in there. Well, I mean, it feels like it's in there. Oh, I'm saying like all the all the contents. I mean, isn't it just one thing? Oh, is it? And you just like put batteries in it and you, like, it's like Simon says, it does the colors and you have to repeat the patterns. Sir. And it's see-through, kind of like everything in the 90s, the phones. I know. Let me show them it. This says $14, but it's crossed out. Do you have any idea what that would be priced or? Yeah. Same thing as what that says. So oh. It's 60% off. 60% of 14. So that is seven, six, five, five dollars and 60 cents. Yeah. I want to get it. I just love the front. Like, the front of it looks amazing. His hair, like, dude, he saw a light. Hey, look, always, man. We always find these. Again, the Batman Forever glasses. Whoa, these are pricey. 18 bucks. Okay, 15 for both. So that's a little more reasonable. Is it a uh, Two-Face? Oh, Robin, Batman and Robin. Great pair. Like a construction set. Like magnetic balls and stuff. Like this looks totally like '80s and '90s. Yeah, I don't know. I've never seen that. Look at that fracking humongous dino. You wanna see it in action? Does it work? It's made to like ride on. Are you serious? For kids, yeah, it's play school. 
So that one's 250 firm. That one's not 60% off. Man, I know you, hey. There it is. I know you remember these. It's like, it's like every kid in the 90s used this. Oh, that's cool. What is that? Is it a little like VHS? Actual, yeah, remember these little things? With oh, yes, I do remember these. That's so cool. That's it. This, Where's this from? Is it from? They, I think they sold them at Hallmark. But I think you probably could have got them in other places too. I don't really know. But yeah, I remember. Those yep. were red. I don't know if it's five dollars red. I know, so, which is still red. I know, but I'm saying like I want to buy it, but it's like oh. it doesn't do anything. It's cool. I think I saw this last time. I can't remember. Oh, Pac-Man thing. I don't even know what it is. Dude, this moon pie is cool. Did you ever microwave moon pie? <laughs> Dude. Did Heck I yeah. ever? Heck yeah. Coca-Cola Party Barbie. My wife loves Coke. Coca-Cola Party <laughs> Barbie. Actually, dude, I love Coke too. Hey, on the real, y'all, I'm trying to get healthier. This is a big move for me. I'm starting to drink Coke Zero, and I actually like it. I actually like it. More than Dr. Pepper? Dude, Dr. Pepper Zero is amazing, but you can't find it anywhere. It's not. Dude, you can't Pepper's find it. Gross. That, that Simon game is a cool find. It Good is. eye, Tommy. Just just completely 90s clear plastic. I mean, I think I was I was down to get it for 14. It's like 60% off. Okay, okay. Oh, man. Some little bear. Little bear in the... Uh, huh. Is it orange? Well, there it is. <laughs> it's taped. It's taped. That's why I couldn't get it. It is orange. Little bear. <laughs> Little bear. See, I saw these last time. These are cool, but oh wait, they're fifty percent off now. Okay. See, that's a change. That's that's a game changer. Look at this. And it's fifty. It's a bank, dude. That's a serious bank. What do you think about that? Pretty dope. These are sweet too. All these little. Oh yeah. Even fifty percent off. It's pretty good. See, like I wouldn't even, I wouldn't even look at this if it was fifty, but twenty-five. Yeah, that's the thing. It's like I'd buy it for like ten, not twenty-five. No, these Beanie Babies, huh? I'll clear this booth out of all this Beanie Babies. I did find a sweet Dino Riders lunchbox here, and I see some more right over there. Some more Dino Riders. Lunchboxes. Let's see what they are. Well, I see some more. Lunch boxes. Oh, dude, it's the same Coca -Cola ones. Coca-Cola that were shaped like a ornament. I remember those. Got some Sesame Street action. And here's Boomer. Don't know anything about that. Oh, hey. Hey, guy. I'm Bugs Bunny, bro. I've never, I've never dipped into the, uh, the Pez collecting. Nor probably should I. Maybe one thing of the candy would do. Schlitz. Remember that beer? Dude, watch your mouth, sir. Yeah, I do. Look at that pup, killer dog, man. These are so cool to me. So I've talked about these a couple different times. These are so cool to me. I'm so surprised that they don't they don't hold any value at all. Look at look, look at these. These are cool glass car Avon bottles, three bucks. Imagine if this was Bash Brothers and it was Mighty Ducks. Oh, I'd be all It'd in. immediately be worth more money. <laughs> I'd be in, man. All right. Quick fact, I think I told Tommy this a couple days ago. The singing voice of Max in a Goofy movie is Dean Portman from the Mighty Ducks. One of the big bad Bash Brothers. How crazy is that? At least that's what my facts told me. My facts told me? My, my, Your facts my sources told me. He has a fax machine still plugged up. <laughs> my fax machine told me that. Hey, Tommy, we found something 90s. Whoa, it's a VHS game. <laughs> Dude, that is cool. This includes Darth Vader footage you've never seen before. Ever. Well, unless you unless you got the game. Oh, no. Here. It says on the package you've never seen it. You Help me out. Again. Oh, so I think it's taped. taped. No, is it taped again? It's taped again, dude. Well, this... Look at all the pieces. ...is something to behold. Look at that. That VHS standing strong, proud. The interactive movie board game. That is wild. I've never seen this one before. Very cool. 20 bucks, Cole? Mm. Not today. How about a Bug's Life Bug Collector King Size Card Game? Uh, Bug's Life was a cool game. Yeah, Bug's Life's great. Or if you want to take Cracker Barrel home, take games. Dude. Hey, look, my, oh, my wife loves this game. 
I need that on my dining room table. Whoa. Whoa. Got some VHS. Got some DVDs. What we got in here? Whoa. All right. I've never seen this on DVD before. The Tower of Terror. I used to watch this back in the day on Disney Channel. The Wonderful World. Disney. That's Kirsten Dunst, man. Dude, that's awesome. All right, I found a movie that I want. I remember watching this back in the day on uh, Disney Channel. Nice. The Tower of Terror. It's got, it's got Kirsten Dunst in it. And Steve Gooden right here. I know. It's a cool find. What is it? It's Andy in the cupboard. This is what I was telling you about the other day. What are you doing? It's like he knows a secret or something. Oh, oh, does it turn? It does. There's a key in it. Like, because the box is shaped. See, it normally comes like that. Okay. And the box is shaped where there's like a keyhole. Oh, yeah. And, so, and sometimes you can still find the key in the sleeve. And there was like, it came with a collector's edition guy, like action figure dude of the main kid. And if I could find the key, that'd be crazy. <laughs> Yeah, doubtful. Doubtful the key is going to be found. I'll tell you this. Tommy, were you a Twilight Zone fan? Yes. I loved the Twilight Zone. Batman Adventures. Solar Man. Man of the Atom. Kiss. Oh, yeah. Hey, here's some comics up here, Tommy, that are pretty cool. Like, this is cool. Like, preview. Look at this. Previews of comics. Total Cosmics. I don't know. These like... Oh yeah, those uh, viewfinder. Yeah, those are cool. All right, just got back from the flip-flop flea market and we made a quick trip to Goodwill. Tommy, what'd you find? You found... Oh. Right there, yeah. You found the stars of Space Jam, the Tasmanian Devil. What I think is hilarious about this is all it is is old Taz cartoons, right? But they remarketed it with with Space Jam. So they're like, hey, this is the stars of Space Jam. So definitely gonna get this and then check this out, guys. I finally freaking found it. I'm not kidding you when I tell you I've been looking for this for this movie for years. Here's the thing. It's orange, but is it really it? Cause like, there's an, there's an orange. But it's freaking Blue's Clues. Blue's Clues, please be it. <laughs> yes! It's seriously, it's, it's not like crazy expensive, but I want to say it's at least like 15 bucks on, e on eBay, but cool to get this and the stars of Space Jam. Two great pickups. All right, guys, a couple things to go through. We're going to go uh, through those pickups from the flea market and from Goodwill, um, but I also want to open up these two packages. Now, these two packages came from the same person. Um, the top one, I believe it's the top one, I actually bought from him. I was missing a piece from the collection. I threw it up on Instagram and he said he had a, an extra one or he was just going to sell his. Uh, so I bought that one from him and then he said, I also want to gift you with something that's pretty unique. So I have no idea. I have no idea what it is, but um, let's get into both of these packages. So these are both from Daniel. He's been a subscriber to the channel for a while, always commenting, always in, uh, in the conversation below, which is awesome. So Daniel, thank you so much for uh, giving me a good deal. Uh, on on this piece that I was missing from the collection. So, you guys are probably gonna be able to tell what it is pretty quick. We got an AV and a power supply, N64 power supply. And then we got, it's a controller? Oh, wow. Okay, I didn't realize that he threw a controller in with it. You guys know what it is, right there. Jungle green uh, controller and then here oh, here's a note let's read the note first hey rick i threw in the controller see I, I knew i didn't think there was one in there i threw in the controller and cords as a bonus figured you might as well have the whole set thanks for the purchase glad it completes your fantastic collection keep up the great work with the youtube channel so uh i have all of the fantastic series n64s except for this one because uh, I gave it away 
a while ago uh, in, in a giveaway. I think I've actually given away two of these. This one will not be given away. I've been missing having it in the collection, and now the collection is again complete. Yo, this one is really, really, really clean. Thank you so much, Daniel, for this. It's got the uh, standard jumper pack in there, but everything looks really good. I mean, actually, it looks immaculate. There's like no scratches or anything on it. Super, super clean. Man, really pumped to add this. Thank you again, Daniel, uh, for selling me this. Now let's get into this mystery box. All right, guys, let's crack into this now. And it is, what is this? Another N64? What in the friggin' world, y'all? It's an N64 lamp? Dude, this is insane. Look at this. Dude, it's got two controllers stacked up on top of each other, and it's got the cord in the back. This is wild. Now, I know the first thing people are going to say is, I can't believe someone destroyed an N64. Listen, y'all, this is cool. I don't know the backstory to this. Wait, was there a note? There is a note. <laughs> Retro Rick, first off, excuse the duct tape as I ran out of packing tape. Second, I thought this would be a nice addition to your collection. I know you like unique items. Yes, I built this lamp out of a non-working N64. See, I'm telling y'all people, I try and repurpose items like this. Anyway, seeing your N64 collection, this lamp needed to be cruising into your game room. Hope you enjoy it. Uh, regards, Dan. Wow. 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 This is so special to me, y'all. This is so cool. Repurposing things, first off, is, is just really, really, uh, really, really cool. But this, this is going to go great in here. I got to get a lamp for it. What kind of lampshade should you put on an N64 uh, lamp? console lamp i have no idea but we're gonna figure out what lampshade to get one of a kind item man one of a kind nintendo item that is in the collection now thank you so much for uh for this dan this is so i'm, I'm speechless man this is crazy that that the, just the generosity of people blows me away thank you so much um, for this dan it's gonna go great in the game room all right pickups from the flea market and the goodwill can't stop thinking about the lamp that's crazy. All right, here we go. We got Simon the Ultimate Brain Battle. Uh, this game was so fun back in the 90s. I don't know if they all looked like this, if they were clear, translucent uh, plastic. I, I feel like I played one that was black, not clear. But this is really cool. Um, this is going to go great in the board game collection. So I have quite a few board games at this point. Still want to do board game reviews uh, at some point. But we got Simon the Ultimate Brain Battle. Next up, we have a movie. It's a DVD, uh, Kirsten Dunst and Steven Gutenberg. This is The Tower of Terror. Now this was on, or this is a The Wonderful World of Disney release. I don't ever see this DVD. Did not have it in the collection. So uh, I picked that up. I love collecting all of uh, basically the old 90s, 80s and 90s movies that I grew up with. So cool to pick this up. Next up, we got a video game trivia quiz card game. So this is going to be really cool. I already have a plan for this that I'm about to use very soon that you guys will see. But just for kicks, let's see if we can't answer some of these questions. So uh, y'all let me know down below if you know if you know the answer. Which Xbox 360 perif peripheral, ooh, peripheral, there we go, advertising made the claim that you are the controller? Put it down below if you know that. Uh, let's see, what is the name of Microsoft's online gaming service for the Xbox range of consoles? Why is everything Xbox so far? They literally are. Here's, here's a different one. After its original release in Japan, by what name was the Sega Mark III known worldwide? That's a good one. I actually knew that one. So these are going to be fun uh, to go through, maybe have a game night with some of my other nerdy video game friends. But I do have a plan for these. Cool to pick up the video game trivia quiz card game. Then we went over to Goodwill real quick to see uh, what all they had. I think this Goodwill is like maybe a mile away from, from that flea market. The first thing we got is the Stars of Space Jam, Tasmanian Devil. Now, I think I talked about this a little bit in the clip. This is just repurposed uh, or remarketed um, to kids, trying to get kids to buy stuff just because it has Space Jam 
plastered all over it. Mm, you tricky, tricky businesses. Uh, but we fell for it, right? This is just old Taz cartoons, but with Space Jam marketing plastered all over it. So really smart by them, but now it makes for uh, a cool display piece. And then we got Good Burger on VHS. You guys know it's friggin' orange with a Nickelodeon on it. Uh, guys, I've been looking for this particular VHS for such a long time. I don't know why it's so hard to find, but I even think they sell for, you know, 10 to 15 bucks on eBay. But again, I don't want to just get on eBay and buy it. So, um, cool to finally, finally pick that up. So guys, that's all the stuff from this week. You guys tell me what your favorite thing was. Mine obviously is the unique one of a kind N64 lamp. That thing is absolutely wild. Also love uh, the green N64. Again, thank you, Dan, for all that stuff. And also thank you guys for hanging out, watching these videos. I know this is just nerdy stuff that we're, we're talking about old video games and toys, but for me, it's fun and it makes it even more fun that you guys uh, enjoy it as well. Uh, make sure that you are subscribed if you are not subscribed yet. And until next time, peace.